Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the Shimoto top loader. It's uh, Shimoto's small carry bag for cameras, uh, small drones, and it also works as an attachment to the Shimoto X70. And I would imagine it probably also can be attached to just about any backpack, given that it has metal D rings on it. Uh, these are metal D rings, and it comes with shoulder strap so if you want to have it hanging on your side or you can actually put this over your neck and have it hang down on the front in front of your chest so you can quickly reach in grab something grab your camera out um, as far as the material and construction this is like a ripstop type material and uh, it's heavy duty <laughs> uh, Shimoto did very well on the construction of this so it has two zippers here to get into the top. Okay. In addition to that, there's a pocket on the front and of course fit batteries, memory cards, and so on down in there. The other part is the bottom, it expands out. See that? And you can see how far out it extends. So that's and you just kind of you just kind of pull it out, pack it down. Zip it back up, and if you are using something like the S1R with 24 to 105 millimeter lens, it does fit in here, and it fits in here with the lens and the camera body attached. The only thing I would say about this being in the pack is that, you can see, the camera body is about as wide as the top. Uh, it does fit down in there, but when I have it sitting in there and I reach down, I have to reach and push the side out just a little bit just to get my hand around the grip here and to pull the camera out. So that is something to consider. Um, you wouldn't have much of a problem if you're going to try to put just, you know, imagine the lens removed and you're just putting the camera body down in here. You're not really going to have much problem with a camera body that's a little bigger than this but if you're wanting to keep the lens attached and set it vertical i would not recommend trying that with a camera body that's wider than this so if it's wider than this one are from here to here uh you're going to run into the, the problem i ran i have when i try to put it in vertically reaching over the side it just pushes out the the side of the shimoto top loader a little bit I can do it with the S1R and I get by with it. Uh, it's not really that much of a problem, but I'm not gonna, if I have it in vertical like this, I'm probably not gonna be grabbing it really quick. Uh, so if that's something you were thinking about, uh, the top loader four, quickly grab that camera. If your body's this wide or wider and you're setting it in vertical like this, yeah, you're gonna have to kind of get used to putting your hand around the side of the camera and pushing out that a little bit. And it, it does work. Um, I, have, I wouldn't say I've had any problems with doing that. It's just that it should be something that you should be aware of. Also, it comes with a divider. You can see uh, it's got the standard Velcro, just like uh, other camera cases and bags and things. Uh, so you would put the Velcro in, put it in and have the Velcro attached to the sides. But if we look at the shape of this, see, uh, it's kind of shaped so that it fits the bottom. So uh, this is not, because of that curved bottom part, it's not a standard 
uh, shape. Most of them will be just kind of squared off. And she might have gave you one that's curved to fit better inside the top loader. So inside the top loader, I can also get the 24 to 105 millimeter lens. With it extended out, I can actually attach it to the S1R body. So that was kind of impressive. I didn't expect to be able to do that. Uh, I thought for sure it was going to be a little too short for me to be able to get the combination together, uh, but I was able to do it. So it's uh, kind of a tight fit uh, given how long the lens is, but it, it did work for me <laughs> just to get it in there. Um, so if you're going to use a camera lens that's longer than this, the lens by itself you can have one that's longer than this and will fit in here. But if you're attaching your camera body and putting it in vertical, kind of like I showed you a while ago with the 24 to 105 millimeter lens, if you're trying to do it with this, uh, it's going to be a tight fit uh, lengthwise. So from top to bottom, from here to here, you can see. But when you extend it, you get enough room for the camera body to also fit in there. Uh, at least on the S1R. So if that's what you're wanting to do, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, but you can't expand it out. That was, like I said, a good design by Shimoto to do to add that in. And the materials, just as good as the material used in the X70 backpack. Uh, I I wouldn't worry about water, a little bit of rain hitting this. Uh, I don't recall if Shimoto says it's water. I don't think they say it's waterproof. Uh, but as far as a little bit of water hitting it and running off, I wouldn't worry too much. But I'm not worried too much about it. Uh, but that's not to say that it's waterproof. Uh, I don't believe it is waterproof. But, yeah, you can check with Shimoto and see what they say about that. Oh, well, in person on, on the top loader, I'm glad I have it. Uh, I think it was a good purchase. And I, I would recommend it to anyone who's wanting to add in an extra uh, accessory bag. So whether it's for batteries, whether it's for memory cards, uh, a camera body, camera body plus lens, as long as you keep in mind the dimensions of the top loader and make sure that it fits what you're going to be using it for. So that camera body or lens or camera body plus lens combinations um, that it'll fit. Again, the S1R and the Sigma 100-400 fit in there, but it was a tight fit from top to bottom. Uh, also, again, keep in mind the width, right? So from here to here causes you have to push out the side a little bit of the top loader to get your fingers around the grip to pull the camera out. And that's about it. If there's something you'd like to see, about the top loader, let me know. Uh, I'll see if I can get a video out for that. Just drop a comment below, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to try to uh, get that recorded for you. And with that, uh, I appreciate you checking out the video. I hope everyone has a happy, safe holiday. Uh, stay healthy. Uh, and if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing. If you liked the video, if it helped, uh, give her a like. If you think somebody else might, uh, enjoy seeing the video, uh, please share it out so that they have an opportunity to see it as well. And I appreciate it. Thanks to all the subscribers who have, who have uh, kind of stuck with me. And I'll get more videos out uh, coming up. So stick around. I appreciate it. And uh, again, have a safe and healthy holiday. Till next time.